Anderson Rifles presents... Hey y'all, welcome to Just Killing Time TV. Hey, Max, what are you doing for all this junk and shovel and a rope might junk, junk in the back of your truck? Well, that's not junk, number one. But number two, we were using it to set up a blind, an SOS blind. And if I'm not mistaken, there was somebody, I ain't going to mention no name, folks, that was supposed to drive down early today from Mount Jackson and help me and Ryan and Stacy. Ryan, Stacy, thank y'all. I had to get my bow tuned up. I got a trip coming up to Canada before long. Oh, hey, yeah, enough whatever. of that rambling about you and your blind. Oh, yeah, hey, whatever. Hey, where are we going this week? Brother. Where are we hunting? Folks, we're going to Panther Creek Ranch. We're going back down there, me and Miss Stacy. Last week we were down there, but in case you missed it, before we get into our footage, I want to show you a recap of last week with Jack and Mike. Folks, we just gonna get right into footage. Panther Creek Ranch, the hill country of Texas, ain't nothing better. Folks, last week, you may remember Jack Dellinger, Buck's father-in-law, missing and then taking a nice buck down to Panther Creek. I just missed him, I guess. <laughs> Go ahead if you want to. I did. Take your time. Hey, pretty nice buck. Look at him brow tines. Yep, he got long brow tines. Doesn't hurt, but that's five inches long. And then we tagged along with Jack's son, Mike, as he had the opportunity to drop the hammer on yet another nice white tail down at Panther Creek Ranch. We seen plenty of deer. He's got plenty nice deer. You see plenty of them. Now join Miss Stacy and I on the first evening of our Panther Creek adventure. That's amazing. I tell you folks, we're down here at Panther Creek Ranch in Mason, Texas. Reggie has the deer. We just dropped us off. We getting set up to do the interviews and get the camera all ready. And Doge just went up over the bank, three of them. I barely saw him. Miss Stacy spotted him. She's running the camera for me. Long story short, it is New Year's Eve. We're in Texas. There ain't no better place to be. It's been New Year's Eve than out to Deerwood. And then Texas, down here in the hill country, where the rut's just winding down, things are still happening. I expect to see some deer this evening. I got the old cannon with me right here. The old ultramag is right with me. A little sure shot. Everything's here with us. We are waiting on the right deer. Y'all stay with us, hang around, and wait with us. You never know. We just make it lucky right here on New Year's Eve. I can't believe him deer walked right in here while we were setting up. That's amazing. Panther Creek Ranch, folks. We've been in the blind literally 10 minutes, and we've got five or six deer already in front of us. I think we'll see a good buck this evening. Not long after I said those words, guess what? A buck decided to show up. Yeah, that's a little forky. Come on, eat your feel, big boy. It's okay, I won't shoot you. Go get your granddaddy, bring him in. Now, folks, I know I probably sound half crazy talking to this deer, and Miss Stacy will always tell you it sounds funny sitting in the blind with me. I do it with deer and turkeys. It's something I heard my daddy doing when I was a young man, and it just sort of stuck with me. I like whispering under my breath, talking to the animal. I'm telling this one, hey, come on in, get your bite to eat. It's safe. Maybe you got your granddaddy or your daddy with you. I'd like to see them come in and get a good look at them. Just having fun in the woods, folks. That's what it's all about. When the little buck came in, all the does left, and we didn't see another deer for the rest of the evening. The familiar sound 
or Reggie on the Ranger, with the tracking dogs coming in, let us know it was time to call it an evening. Hey, you need help taking that junk out? I didn't help load it, but you want me to help you unload it? I would appreciate that very much. I'll get the chuck. Well, you unload it and I'll tell folks what's going on, man. Hey, fine. Get stuff. I'm gonna go folks, dig a whole bear. You Panther Creek Ranch, you can't beat it. First evening in the blind, all those deer. Reggie said there was a good buck hanging around the area. We didn't see him. Stick around. We got a lot more action in store for you. We go find that good buck. You probably miss him. You look like a state employee. Our Anderson No Lube AR-15 is built with pride in the USA, right here in Hebron, Kentucky. Our 30,000 square foot facility has the latest in computerized manufacturing. Only Anderson rifles have RF-85 that reduces friction 85%, never needs oiling, and cleans up with soap and water. Anderson quality control is second to none. The Anderson AR-15, the world's only No Lube rifle. Are you sure you don't work for the state? You sure got the pose down, bro. Well, I've been watching you and learning for a couple oh, of years from this kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, wow, yeah. you hold the shovel. I'm usually using one on the other end. <laughs> Folks, let's get right back in the action. It's New Year's Day, man. Max in Texas in a blind. Hey, what else can I say? The Hill Country, Texas, no better place to be than the first day of the year. Now, folks, I'm here to tell you there ain't nothing like being in a blind in pitch dark and as it starts turning gray, seeing shadows of deer moving back and forth, not being able to tell what they are. That's excitement, folks. There's nothing like it waiting on the sun to come up so you find out if it's a big boy standing in front of you or not. Okay. What else can I say, folks? We didn't even have time to do an interview in the blind this morning. Panther Creek Ranch, Mason, Texas. I tell you, you want to see a lot of deer. This is the place to come. Reggie does the work. He knows his deer, sets his stands, and his feeders in strategic places, and pulls the deer out of this scrub brush. And voila, there you are. Like I say, it's half hour after daylight. And look, there are deer everywhere. When people talk about hunting deer in Texas, the one place that comes to my mind immediately is right down here, Panther Creek in Mason, Texas. There's just a lot of deer down here. It's New Year's Day. And I don't know what better way to watch the first sunrise of the year than having deer in front of you as you do it. We waiting on the big boy. I'm sure he'll be around directly. Got another deer in. She hadn't been here before. Okay, we're the bush here. That deer come here from underneath his live hook right there. As the sun started to come up, we had deer moving in and out around us all morning long. Some deer would leave and another deer would show up to take its place. Spikes, small rack bucks, does, you name it folks, they were all around us. Where, oh where, all the 
couple big bucks gone. I looked over at Texas and must have done something wrong. Like evidently. I ain't seen them big bucks. Hey, we man. saw a pile of them. We was down there. I don't know what you're doing. Hey, we hey. missed my favorite part. I'll tell you what. Of that. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, we'll be right back in just a moment. I'm going to get a spit out of my eye. <laughs> I love you, brother. You got to be asking yourself, what am I looking at? What is this mess? One of the largest rifle distributors in the country pitted the Anderson rifle against one of the top leading brands in a shootout. The leading gun was prepped thoroughly, cleaned and lubricated to perfection. The Anderson rifle was cleaned but stripped of all lubrication. It was fired completely dry. This is only possible because the Anderson was treated with RF-85, the permanent treatment that reduces friction 85%. The rifles were fired as fast as humanly possible. In less than an hour, the leading brand rifle failed at 900 rounds. An hour went by, then two, then three. The Anderson kept firing. After four hours, the red hot gun cooked rounds off. No trigger was needed. Finally, the grip caught on fire. After 4,238 rounds and still firing, with the gun on fire, they called it quits. They couldn't get the Anderson to fail. This is that rifle. Look at these close-ups. This Anderson rifle shows absolutely no wear. Can your rifle do this? It can if it's an Anderson. RF-85 makes it run with 85% less friction, 23% faster action, never needs oiling, and cleans up with soap and water. The Anderson rifle, the world's only no-lube rifle. Hi folks, and welcome back to today's show. Hey, before Max so rudely interrupted a while ago when he went <laughs> in my face, that's a familiar sight when you see Reggie coming up over the hill with the dogs, the tracker, and what was the other one's name? Millie. Millie. Oh, that's right. I just tested him. Yeah, right. Hey, he's, it's New Year's Day still. It's the evening. He's setting in my father-in-law Jack's blind where he go shot that kill the big buck. Go kill the big buck. I ain't got no pistol. I got the rifle. We're going to drop the hammer down. Well, Y'all watch do this footage, folks. I just love Texas. Folks, we're down here in Mason, Texas, Panther Creek Ranch. Reggie just dropped us off, put us in the blind. Now, folks, if you're an old Virginia boy like me, seeing all the deer you get to see when you're hunting a place like Panther Creek Ranch will just plain spoil you. Now, you talk about a fantastic evening in the deer blind. Me and Miss Stacy had it this evening, folks. Unfortunately, we didn't see the deer we were looking to take. Well, folks, we're about out of shooting light. Saw 15 does and one buck. Wasn't quite what we were looking for buck-wise. Pan the Creek Ranch, the deer are down there everywhere. Went back out in the morning to see if we can find what we're looking for. Y'all come on and take along with us. There were some other hunters in camp from Virginia, and they were in a stand not far from us. And right about dark, we heard a shot. So we decided to go down with Reggie and see what had taken place. My name is Cherish Walker, and this is my husband, Chris Walker. We went to, um, We are here at Panther Creek Ranch in Texas. We won the trip through the Hunters for the Hungry in Richmond. We went to the show. We um, bought some raffle tickets and our ticket got pulled. So we decided to come down here for a hunt. This is my first hunt. This is my husband's first hunt. And this is my first buck. More or less is my first deer. Now folks, Cherish and Chris were a lot of fun to have in camp. And Stacy even got the opportunity a couple days later to go out with Cherish and try to film her taking a doe. Unfortunately, it didn't pan out for getting a doe on film, but what they did get on film, folks, is something I think you're going to want to see. Now, folks, that's what I call a knockdown drag out. Oh my God. Folks, what'd you think about that? Young lady, I just wish we'd had a camera with her the whole time. We heard the shot from where we were sitting. We went down there, brother. First buck. They were from Virginia, too. Did you hey, know that? Yeah, Cherish, but, congratulations on your deer. Great deer, Cherish. Hey, didn't you tell me they won that hunt through Hunters for the Hungry? They did. Gary Arrington, Virginia Hunters for the Hungry. They raffled off the hunt. Cherish and them won. No better way I know to support a great cause like Hunters for the Hungry and buying raffle tickets like that. Hey. You get some time, check out their website. We'll put it on the bottom of the screen for you. Hey, not only did she kill a nice buck, but her and Stacy went out a couple days later trying to get some dough meat. Buck fight! 
What about that buck fight, man? That one that was broke up, he kicked some butt still, didn't he? He was mean, lean, fighting machine, son. Hey. I can tell you that. Well, let's crawl back in the blind view and see if you can close the deal on a Texas whitetail. Enough of this talking. I'm getting the itchy. You getting itchy there, yes, anybody? Folks, let's get right back into action and see if Max can close the deal. A boom, 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 boom. I, I really think we're going to see uh, some, some good buck this evening. It's warm. It's like 70 degrees down here. We left Virginia. It was 26 degrees. They're having a heat wave down here. We all moved. Don't have light enough clothes to where I should have brought my bow on any clothes. Regardless, me and Miss Daisy's gonna see her to dark. We got a deer down here in front of us. I expect it to be many, many more before we're through this evening. Hey, there I am. As the shadows grew longer and it got later and later, I couldn't help but notice that most of the deer that showed up to this location were bucks. I kept thinking to myself, this has got to be a good thing. We were sitting on a hillside looking down into a small bowl. And as I watched these young bucks, I looked to my left and I see more bucks coming. One of them looks like he might just be the one I want to take home. After this buck steps out in the open, where I can get a good look at him, I lean over and tell Miss Stacy, darling, this is the one I want to take home to Virginia. I get to a Remington out the window, set up on a sure shot, and get myself in position to make the shot. Max, that's a pretty decent deer. I can't believe you ain't shot that deer yet, man. You keep, I, I, I can't believe you ain't pulled trigger. You know me, I'd already hey, shot the deer. Why once, haven't you? I took the safety off once, and then I realized that Miss Stacy ain't giving me a shell yet. Good job, Stacy. Make him be patient. Folks, we'll be right back in just a minute and see if Max can close this deal, finally. All I need is one little shell. Somebody got a 300 Ultra Mag and send me. Yeah, Barney. <laughs> Barney, fight. This Anderson rifle shot 5,000 rounds without a drop of oil. We're gonna clean it Anderson style. I think she's clean. Anderson rifles never need oiling and clean up with soap and water. The Anderson rifle, the world's only no lube rifle. You know, I love hunting with Miss Stacy. I don't know why she just won't give me a shell. I want to shoot this deer, man. Hey, folks, let's get back in action, see if Stacy gives Max that shell he's waiting on. I hope so. Folks, I got the shell and the thumbs up for Miss Stacy. Y'all watch this, because I'm getting ready to let some lead fly. You may notice that when the gun recalled, Miss Stacy jumped and moved the camera. Those things happened, and regardless, she still did a great job of staying on the deer. Honey, I'm proud of you. Folks, ain't nothing like hunting with your wife. Folks, here he is. We're down in Mason, Texas, with Panther Creek Ranch, Leslie Leffler. I tell you, we've seen, in two and a half days, we've seen over 50 deer this trip. I want to thank my beautiful wife, Stacy, for coming to help, help us film. I want to thank all the guys on the staff, work hard for us, all of our sponsors that do so much for us. I want to give a special thanks to Reggie Leffler and everything he does for us. I want to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for giving me the passion and ability to do what we love. Until next time, 
We'll see you on the mountain. You laid a smack down. Hey. Good job, buddy. That was a good deal. Hey, Remington 700 LSS, man. 300 Ultra Mag ain't nothing He like didn't know what gun. hit him. He didn't know what hit him. That was a pretty deer, man. Congratulations. Hey, I'm, I'm tickled with it. Folks, all I can say, Panther Creek Ranch, Reggie Leffler. Reggie. Man, what a place. If you want to go to Texas and have fun, I'm telling you, you guaranteed you're going to see deer. It's just a matter of when. It's not an if thing down there. And you there. might run into us because we make uh, frequent trips down there and see Reggie. He told me you couldn't come back next year. <laughs> come on, Reggie. <laughs> Let me come back. Man, we're out of time. Yeah, we are out of time. Folks, thanks for watching the show today. As always, you get an opportunity to take a young person, introduce them to our sport of hunting or fishing. It will be the experience of both your lifetimes. Until next week, folks. We'll, we'll see you on the mountain. mountain. For more information about hunting Panther Creek Ranch, give Reggie Leffler a call at 325-347-2734 or log on to the web at panthercreekranch.com.